Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to deploy Kubernetes dashboard on our cluster step by step using Helm. As we know, Kubernetes is a powerful container orchestration platform, but sometimes having a visual interface like dashboard can make your life so much easier when managing your cluster. In this video, I will walk you through the entire process so you can streamline your Kubernetes management task. Let's get started. Before we dive in, make sure we have following things in place. The Kubernetes cluster up and running, kubectl command line tool installed and configured to communicate with your cluster, a user with administrative access on the cluster. In case you don't have a Kubernetes cluster, then check out our video on how to install Kubernetes cluster on Ubuntu 24.04. In the interest of time, I have already prepared a set of instructions that I will refer in this tutorial. I will paste these instructions in the description of the video for your reference. All right, let's jump into the actual steps. The first step is to install Helm. In case Helm is already installed on your system, then you can skip. Else we have to install it using these commands. I have already taken the SSS session of my control plane. I will be executing all the kubectl commands on my control plane. Once the Helm is installed successfully, we can move on adding the Kubernetes dashboard repository. In order to add Kubernetes dashboard Helm repository, we need to execute this command. Copy this command. Once the Helm repo has been added successfully, we can run the command Helm. Output confirms that Kubernetes dashboard Helm repo has been added successfully. Next, we can start installing the Kubernetes dashboard using the Helm command. For that, we need to run this command. This command will create a namespace Kubernetes hyphen dashboard. Under this dashboard, it will install this Kubernetes dashboard. Copy this command. Paste it here and hit enter. As you can see in the output, Kubernetes dashboard is not installed, so it is installing now. In the output, we can see the status is deployed. It means the dashboard has been installed successfully. Now we can verify the status of the ports and its services. For that, we can run kubectl. get deployments on my services and then. all right the deployment is installed successfully and those deployments are also exposed using the type cluster ip in order to access the dashboard from outside of our cluster, we need to expose this deployment, Kubernetes dashboard hyphen com. Though this is already exposed using the cluster IP. It means we can access this dashboard only within the cluster, but we want to access it from the outside. We need to expose this deployment using the type node port. For that, we can expose this deployment using the kubectl expose deployment command. So to copy this complete command. Now rerun the previous command just to check the status. All right, we can see a new service with the type node port. And this is the node port. Now we can try accessing the dashboard. Open the web browser. Type HTTPS. Worker nodes IP address. So in my case, worker node IP is 
1.57 colon and then the node port copy this node port as this dashboard is using cells and certificates so we have to accept the risk and continue so in order to log into the kubernetes dashboard we need a token so we need to generate a token first but in order to generate the token we need a account a service account so we need to first create a service account we need to assign uh, permissions to that service account and using that service account we'll generate the token and then we'll try to log in all right so in order to generate a token first we need to create a service account so in order to create a service account and then create a cluster role and role binding and then assign that role to that uh, service account for that we need to create a yaml file in that yaml file we will be pasting this content so copy the content create a file let's say dash dash dot yaml okay first we are creating a service account with the name admin hyphen user in the namespace cube hyphen system then we are creating a role a role binding and assigning that role to this service account save and close the file now run kubectl create fnf ats-dash.yml all right it has created a service account created a role binding as well now we are ready to generate the token so to generate a token we need to execute kubectl space create token then the service account name hyphen n followed by the namespace copy this command all right so this is my token copy this token head back to the kubernetes login page paste the token here and click on sign in all right we are into the kubernetes dashboard select all namespaces great we can see the workload under the service section we can see what are the different ingress expose services and the endpoints if you scroll down we will see the cluster section under the cluster section we can check the node status so as of now in my cluster we are using two worker node and one control plane and we are getting the health check and the overview of my cluster nodes similarly under config and storage we can see the config map persistent volume claims and storage classes that's all from this video tutorial i hope you have found it useful and informative do not forget to like subscribe and hit the bell button icon for more kubernetes tutorials see you in the next one bye